Welcome to my channel. My name is Vivalina and I'm so glad that you found your way here. Today we are building two different things. So one is what we are seeing right now, the habitat for the black tailed prairie dogs. So this is actually the North America section of the zoo. If I am honest, I was thinking of calling it Mexican section, but then it's also still just gonna be two animals. So I was like, yeah, North America, I can just keep it. That's completely fine for me. Anyhow, you see, I wanted them a bit on this elevated terrain so that they are face to face with the people. And you see also some stuff built here, which is off camera. Quick two notes on that. First, some things are also buildings which have not survived to the final version of the zoo. So um, that's why I also will not post speed builds because they just were not up to standard and it was more like a quick build because this zoo is built in challenge mode. So there was some need for some um, toilets and drinks and whatever but later on this will be done way prettier so that's why we don't see it and also as you have heard they didn't make it in the final version meaning this zoo is already completed so i got the chance to build a lot but in that time i could not do voice recording for various reasons so that's why now i'm doing it afterwards and we do the um talk over but talk over that's not it <laughs> the voice over later but yeah, that's basically the reason and I'm gonna produce like all these videos of the zoo and I'm gonna publish them fast so soon you will also be able to see the final version of the zoo. This also means that every now and then you will see things, buildings, habitats, scenery, whatever, guest facilities, which have not been in the speed build yet and also some things which come in the next speed build maybe because it's not 100% chronological. You know how it is when you build a zoo and after you build one thing and animals populate, you need to reconsider what you have been doing and then you need to build another thing and so on and so on. So um, that's why habitats also change. But in the cinematics at the very end of this video, you will see exactly the end result. So um, yeah, back to the prairie dogs. This is the North America part now. So at least them and there's also going to be a bigger animal. Put it in the comments if you can already guess what will be the big animal. Anyhow, for those little ones, since they are quite harmless, I went with this like fence, but I still made it like double so that the guests are not super close. They can't reach in there. I mean, technically they could go over the fence, but I mean, I hope our guests just simply respect the rules of the zoo and yeah, that's basically their habitat, just a little hiding under the mud. This will also later be replaced and I think that's the part which is um, not in the video because there was some hours where I forgot to record and it's nothing major, it's more like guest facilities but also a little change here in this habitat. Yeah, so you see the guests are already coming in, they are happy. I, I think the view on the little prairie dogs is also quite phenomenal. Um, but they are so tiny and I find it surprising always how much space they need, even though they are so tiny. But I'm giving them the space they need and will also have to do like some in the sense of this um, being not, not franchise, but challenge mode. I had to always deal with the population of new babies and so on. And all the time checking and releasing animals into the wild and you know. So I was considering for a while for this area to call it the Mexican area instead of North American area. But because like geologically you can also put North America, uh, Mexico into North America. I was like, yeah, never mind. We'll just call it North America. But this animal is also found in Mexico. Um, but I don't know. In our heads, it's like in my head at least, it's so connected to just North America. That's why I had it this way. What we are building next is the exhibit animals. So we will have four exhibit with desert species. And you see, what I really hate is this auto pathing with them because whenever I change something, it appears. What I just did was just turn them so you know later on the exhibits all look the same. So I tried to turn them so they get a bit of different view, you know, like even though it's still similar and you can still see it's like the same thing. I thought it was nicer if we turn them a bit and then it looks like it could be a little bit something else. And then I thought, okay, this is also like this desert zoo and we will need some points where, you know, the air gets cooled a bit so that the guests are not happy. And that's when I decided that this gets like a little water feature as well. Also just to make the exhibit 
more interesting because I, I still struggle, I still find them often coming out like just the box and you still completely see this 4x4 box and I wish we had different kind of sizes of exhibits for the different animals because for some it looks very big, for some it looks very small but I have to say with the desert animals in the end when I like shot a little bit for the cinematics of the exhibit animals, not desert animals I mean, technically both. Um, that's when I realized that, okay, actually it looks fine. Um, these ones are good to find, but they are just somewhere it's like so ridiculously crazy, like some bugs to find. I'm like, okay, um, no, thank you. <laughs> this doesn't work. So yeah, this is the water feature. I tested quite a bit of stuff um, to see what works and what doesn't. I entered also this one. So it looks like this is where the water is coming out because it needs to make sense. I think later off camera I add it a bit, I move it a bit deeper, I right? another one, I'm not sure, because it just didn't really make sense. But yeah, I really love this piece from the European extension pack, these stones, they are so versatile, like, they also fit, if you change the colors, they can fit in anywhere, and I love how many pieces we have by now, which are flexicolor, this is just amazing, I'm, I'm a complete fan of that. Yeah, and adding some education, and then we will also in a bit add the animals. So, I think this is almost it. So, if you like the video, if you like what I've been building, if you have any comments, of course, hit the like button, leave a comment, and if you want to see how this zoo continues or what other projects I'm up to, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot as I'm rather new on YouTube and right now with the zoo for the first time in a real schedule. So, this means the promise of regular videos to you. So, if this appeals to you, Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope that I see you soon in the next video. And with this I say have a lovely day and bye!